Hi, welcome to the video. This is my quarantine tank and I'm going to use it to do an experiment to see how quickly koi can grow. Um, I bought five new tosai, uh, so one year old koi, that um, uh, are used to being about 18 degrees and it's spring at the moment, it's a bit cold in the main pond at about 12. So I'm going to keep them in here for a while while I quarantine them and I'm also going to turn the temperature up a little bit to, uh, to help them grow as part of the experiment. So a uh, quick introduction to this. This is a big um, uh, water tank, so it's 450 litres or so. So it's um, filled to this height, it's about 400 litres. I then got a 200 litre barrel that's got the um, uh, filter media in um, sort of fairly standard arrangements. Um, and so that flows back. Um, I've, uh, I've bought a, um, a thermostat from Amazon, cost about 15 pounds. It's really good, it's excellent. Um, and that connects to a 300 watt heater, which is quite small for a pond, but it's um, perfectly adequate for this sort of size arrangement. And then I've got a feeder there, and I'm going to feed a mix of this junior staple because um, that's smaller for some of the smaller fish that I've got, and also some of this growth as well um, because um, uh, yeah, it's higher protein, uh, but the pellets are slightly larger, and so it's not going to suit um, the, the small ones here in the tank. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to net the fish out now, pop them in a, uh, a bucket and uh, measure them with a little bit of sedate so I can get an accurate measure measurement. And then I'm going to put them in here for four weeks, um, feed them as much as they want to eat and uh, I'm going to run at a temperature of 21 degrees. Now the optimal um, is, is more like 23 for growing on uh, fish as, as far as I've gathered from, from reading various articles. Uh, you can turn it up even higher uh, and they will grow faster but they lose their colour, it's not necessarily brilliant for the fish. So uh, I, I thought I'd go with 21 because I've also got an eye towards the energy bill because um, this is outside so it's going to lose a lot of heat. So I've netted the fish out and I've measured them. Uh, there was one fish, a Jin Rin Shoa, really nice fish that uh, I couldn't catch so uh, I'll have to leave that out of the experiment. But um, uh, the Tan Show here was 12 centimetres long, the Shira Tsuri was 16 centimetres long, the Kuhaku was 18 centimetres and the Kujaku was uh, 22. So um, let's, let's let them uh, get to work and we'll see how they grow uh, over the coming weeks. So just by putting the fish in the bucket they uh, appear to me much bigger. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently sedate them a little bit and uh, measure them and see how much they've grown. Now this one includes the, uh, the fish that I couldn't catch the first time. I don't have a measurement for it but I wanted to get it out to uh, just inspect it. So just by seeing them in the bucket you can, um, you can tell that they're bigger than they were um, before. Um, and the measurements confirm that, so the tan show is one centimetre longer at 13 rather than 12. The shiritsuri was 17 rather than 16. Um, the kohaku had grown quite a lot actually, that had grown from 18 to 20. And the kajaku has grown from 22 to 24 centimetres. So um, that's, that's put on quite, quite a lot of weight. Um, so uh, we've got a mix there between one centimetre and two centimetres growth over four weeks in pretty optimal conditions. So uh, now back to the main pond. Fish are just enjoying some mealworms, they really love them. Um, I'm going to now reduce the temperature very gradually over the next few weeks at the quarantine pond, get it to the same temperature as this main pond, then I'll open a tap which combines the quarantine system with the main system so they can get used to all the same water. And then I'm going to move the two biggest fish into the pond, but I'll keep the three smaller ones in the quarantine because I'm a bit bothered they're a bit too small for the bottom drain. And I'll grow them on a bit more and then introduce them later in the year. So uh, looking forward to uh, having all the new fish uh, in, in the main pond later in the summer. I'll see you on the next video.